shoot for that belt, man. Oh, no, no, you're going to get that belt. Bro. Got that big win over Amir Manson. Yeah, man, it was a big win. Uh, you know, a tough win. You fight a, a veteran guy like that who's going to come out, you know. He came out guns blazing. Uh, big ups to him, man. He, he fought a good fight, put me down in the third round. Um, but I don't think he was he was ready for a big 6'7", uh, 250 pound heavyweight like myself. So it's a good fight, man. I, I'm looking forward to the future. Do you think people don't understand the guts that you bring to the ring? Because I think there's a level of toughness that you're bringing that people don't understand. I don't, I don't think they understand the guts and the, uh, the willpower and just heart and, and the athletic ability that's behind it. And uh, I come to win, man, whether I got to punch it out, fight it out, slug it out, put on a boxing vest. Either way, hands down, I'm ready to die in the ring, and that, that's what I show every time I get in the ring. When are you going to get back in the ring? Hopefully soon, man. I'm waiting. Contract negotiations right now, so uh, something's coming soon. Very last question. What is it like to visit Ring of Fire Boxing in San Francisco? You know, it was best. It's, it's, it's World renowned, a great gym, you know. Uh, Laurent up there is doing a great job, as well as Coach Jimmy, the owner and stuff. Um, it, was, it was an honor to be up there. I can't wait to get back. You know, it's one of those things when you when you move camp from Carson, California, up to San Francisco. It's just a blessing come true.